The novel coronavirus COVID-19 is spreading in the world faster than we all expected and the death toll has reached beyond 85,000. This virus outbreak has brought the world to a halt. With over 1 crore positive cases, COVID-19 outbreak has caused a global panic. United States, Spain, Italy, Germany and France happen to be the worst hit countries along with China where the pandemic was first reported. Amidst all these panics and chaos, a lot of disclosures and conspiracy theories are hot topics these days. One among them is an exclusive interview of Dr. Francis Boyle who drafted the Biological Weapons Act in the United States. The interview given to Geopolitics and Empire, he has given a detailed statement admitting that the COVID-19 virus is a potentially lethal and offensive biological warfare weapon that has genetically modified. He believes that the virus was escaped from the Biosafety Level 4 laboratory in Wuhan, which is why the Chinese government originally tried to cover it up and later had to take drastic measures to contain it. The Wuhan BSL-4 lab is a specially designed WHO research lab and Dr. Boyle contends that WHO already knows about it. Dr. Boyle also mentions Great Game India's exclusive report Coronavirus Bioweapon where it is reported in detail how Chinese biowarfare agents working at the Canadian lab in Winnipeg were involved in the smuggling of coronavirus to Wuhan's lab. Website also quotes American Senator Tom Cotton who dismantled the claim that the virus was spread from the wet market in Wuhan. He believes that the virus went to the market before it came out of the market. He also notes the study of the Lancet which demonstrates that of the original 40 cases, 14 of them had no contact with the wet market, including patient zero. J.R. Nyquist, the well-known author of the books Origin of the Fourth World War and The Fool and His Enemy has published secret speeches given to high-level Communist Party cadres by Chinese Defense Minister General Chi Ho Chiang, explaining a long-range plan for ensuring a Chinese national renaissance in his article. The website observes it might include China's secret plan to weaponize viruses. The website points out a news of security breach by Chinese nationals in the Canadian P4 National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg where the novel coronavirus was allegedly stored with other lethal organisms. Last May, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police were called in to investigate. By late July, the Chinese scientist Dr. Xiangu Q and other Chinese virologists were forcibly dispatched. Dr. Xiangu Q was allegedly making trips between Winnipeg and Wuhan and a lot of shipments were done from Winnipeg to Wuhan, including lethal viruses like Ebola and Nipah. It is said that it's highly probable that the COVID-19 virus is the weaponized version of the coronavirus discovered by Saudi doctors in 2012. So here is the plausible roadmap of COVID-19 virus. First, discovered in Saudi Arabia, then studied in Canada from whence it was stolen by Chinese scientists and brought to Wuhan lab. From there, it escaped outside and spread all over the world. Another study is a conspiracy theory by the economist and geopolitician Peter Gornick, who has more than 30 years of work experience in World Bank and WHO. He claims that a propaganda which has been prepared since long is being implemented in the world in his article, The Coronavirus COVID-19 Pandemic, The Real Dangerous Agenda ID 2020, which was published in Global Research and 21st Century Websites. ID 2020 is an alliance of public-private partners, including UN agencies and civil society. It is an electronic ID program that uses generalized vaccination as a platform for digital identity. The initiative was taken in January 2020 at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Peter Cohen claims that as the COVID-19 has already declared as a pandemic, there is going to be forced vaccination. Gavi, the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, which is a global health partnership of public and private Sekna organization dedicated to immunization for all supports this. Gavi is supported by WHO and its main partners and sponsors are the pharma industry. Gavi and business tycoons like Gates, Rockefellers, Rothschilds are behind these. Peter Koenig notes that it is really suspicious that the ID2020 is being rolled out at the onset of COVID-19 pandemic. He also points out even 201, a high-level pandemic simulation experiment on October 18, 2019 in New York at the John Hopkins Center for Health Security in partnership with the World Economic Forum and Bill and Melinda Gates who were also the advocates of ID2020. The exercise as it is given in its website illustrated areas where public or private partnerships will 
will be necessary during the response to a severe pandemic in order to diminish large scale economic and societal consequence. In the experiment, the virus was called CAPS and it started with pigs in Brazil before spreading to farmers. In the simulation, CAPS was also a coronavirus infected people all across the globe within six months and by 18 months it had killed 65 million people and triggered a global financial crisis. Two weeks after the experiment, the COVID-19 virus first appeared in Wuhan. Peter Cohen states that this is not a mere coincidence and it was certain that the virus was brought to Wuhan from outside. Peter Cohen also mentions about the medication that was developed 39 years ago by Cuba called Interferon Alpha 2B, which is very effective for fighting viruses and other diseases and can be used for COVID-19 treatment. China is treating patients with the help of this medication, but other countries cannot use it as the United United States and WHO does not allow the medication to be marketed internationally. Peter Cohen points out that there are a number of high-security US biowar labs outside the United States and strange diseases break out in the surrounding of the labs, but nobody is allowed to talk about it. Peter Cohen adds that the implementation of ID2020 includes forced vaccination, population reduction and the total digital control of everybody on the way to one world order and global financial hegemony. According to him, all of these are controlled by the Western elites and the business empires. There are conspiracy theories about Chinese cover-ups, effect of 5G and a plenty of other ones revolving around COVID-19 outbreak. Many of them have created controversies and were removed from the social networking sites. Till this date, it is a mystery of how this virus was originated and how it turned out to be a pandemic. For more news and analysis, please subscribe to newstaglife.com.